Hey guys, Rob here with McDojo Life. In today's McDojo news, we're going to be talking about why the fight between Xu Dong and DKU isn't happening this year. Let's check out the story. Before we dig into the meat and potatoes about what's going on here, I want to show you guys first the promo video for the fight. Now, if you've been following the page for a little while, you might already know this, but if you haven't, I already did a video about DKU and my opinion of him, so if you want to know more about my opinion of DKU, just check out the video. But if you're not familiar with him, here's a couple clips of him training. <laughs> Let's go and talk about Xu Xiaodong now. If you're not familiar, Xu Xiaodong is a legendary fighter over in China who's been fighting fake martial arts instructors for a very long time and pretty much knocking them out cold mostly in the first round. Here's a couple of those clips now. <laughs> One of the biggest issues people have had with DKU is the fact that he doesn't actually have a fight record at all, not even amateurs. And so people have kind of dug into him a little bit about that, and I have done the same thing as well. But finally, our wishes were finally answered when Xu Dong challenged DKU. The fight's been being teased for a while now, mostly being teased by DKU because obviously it makes his reputation seem a little bit better. September 4th of this year, we finally got to see the announcement. Finally, a fight poster. This fight was actually going to happen, and we were excited about it. I know I was. DKU has this massive following. People seem to love this dude. They seem to think that he's the best thing since Bruce Lee, even calling him the new Bruce Lee. And DKU, the fighter of fake masters, finally getting to fight each other. Unfortunately for us, this fight isn't actually going to happen on this card. Now, will it happen? Probably yes. I would assume yes. Both fighters seem to want to make it happen. But unfortunately, Xu Dong is having an issue getting out of the country. Rather than me trying to explain it to you, I'll just let him explain it in his own words. Lang 往后推了 探亲呀，或者是病啊什么的，你能签这个护照？要不然的话，呃，能签签证；要不然发不了。但是我的护照到期了，我得换新护照，所以呢，今年是没有办法了，只能等到，只能等到明年再看。I got that video from Fight Commentary Breakdowns. If you get the opportunity, definitely go check out the channel. It's a fantastic channel. He does a really good job over there, and it'll keep you up to date with some of the things going on with Xu Xiaodong. But also, he keeps you up to date with a lot of stuff that's going on in China, period, and what's going on with this particular fight. So go check it out. Some of you might be wondering, okay, what's the big deal? A fight isn't going to happen. The problem is this. This post was literally just made maybe an hour ago on DKU's Instagram. The video I showed you of Xu Dong saying he's not going to take the fight was over 16 hours ago at least. So that means currently DKU 
is promoting a fight that he knows is not going to happen. Now, I've had my own opinions about DKU for a while now, and I haven't really dug into him that much, but this is shady. To go on your page and continue to push a fight that you know isn't going to happen, at least this year, according to Xu Dong. That's shady. DKU has this massive following, all these people following him, and they're fooled. They truly think that this dude's going to be fighting in December. Xu Dong has already made an announcement saying this fight is not going to happen in December. I am utterly baffled by this. Usually when somebody knows that a fight's not going to happen, the very first thing that they do is they announce, hey, either the fight is off or we have a replacement fighter. You don't continue to push the fight as if these two people are still going to fight. And what's even worse is when I go onto the comment sections to try to let people know this information that they might not necessarily know because DKU isn't telling people, they still don't believe me. Even though I just showed you a video of Xu Xiaodong saying this isn't going to happen. Right now, it just seems like he's trying to perpetuate that this fight's still going to happen, and then he's going to sneak somebody in at the last minute and kind of rip people off of their money because they're still going to think that Xu Xiaodong is going to fight. I'd really like to know your opinions about this in the comment sections. You obviously know that I think it's shady, but maybe you don't think it's shady. I don't know. Let's, let's start a dialogue. As always, thank you all for the likes, comments, shares, subscriptions, and all that other crap people online tell you to do. Keep the martial arts legit.